Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a little review on the Benefit Her Glam Makeup Kit. Her name was Glola. And I hauled this from my Sephora friends and family haul since it was 20% off. And I'll put the um, price somewhere on the screen because I forgot. So when you open it up, it comes with a big mirror. And then it comes with the Coralista blush. It comes with a little angled brush, um, the Bad Gal Lash Mascara, it comes with a lip gloss in Life on the A-List, which is that color, and it comes with a mini moonbeam and a mini high beam and a little brush applicator, and it comes with five shadows that are very neutral, very glowy. And, let's see, the shadows, this white one is called per Passion Pearl, Peachy Sheen, Terracotta Satin, Steamy Copper, and Deep Bronze, which I have used on my lids, and I did a makeup tutorial on this. So, what I've noticed so far. I like how you can take this whole green thing out, the whole like spine of the box, oops, and everything's falling out, <clears throat> and you can just keep the box as a keepsake. I really like the Bad Gal Lash. It lengthens my lashes not as well as the Hypnose Lancome Mascara, but it does lengthen. I really like the um, lip gloss though, Life on the A-List, because the doe foot applicator is actually fitted for your lip. So there's like a little curve. It's not just a flat doe tip. It actually fits the curve of your lips. And the color is very nice. It's um, a really light, like a neutral pink. So it's not very bam in your face. And I like that. I have not tried the mini high beam, the mini moon beam, but this is a brush applicator. Brush applicator again. And I have not used the brushes in the kit. I have a full size benefit um, cheek or full size um, blusher, but I don't really use the full size brush just because I don't think it picks up enough. It's really soft, but it, I don't think it picks up enough product. So I just use a regular um, like angled brush for my face. As for the blush, I really like the color. It gives a nice peachy sheen to my skin. It's not too shiny, but it just gives the perfect sheen for the perfect glow. And for the shadows, as I, I've worn them before, and all I did was use primer potion, and I think I wore, the first time I wore it to work, and it lasted all day. It didn't crease, it still looked just as I put it on um, in the morning. And so, they do last very long. As for the texture of them, I think that out of the five colors, four of them are great. The white one is actually ooh, the white one is actually a little chalky, so that's why this time I applied it just as a base and already as a highlight. But it's not very um, it's not buttery smooth like the other ones. The other ones are very smooth and soft, and they blend very easily. Those are the t colors again. So I think. You know, if you're a neutral kind of gal, then I think it's a great buy for you. Um, I already have the Naked palette from Urban Decay, so I didn't really get this box for the shadows. I got it mainly to try High Beam, Moonbeam, the Coralista blush, because I've had my um, Heartthrob blush blush for a really long time. It's so huge. So I thought, you know, with this kit I could try just enough to like it. 
Um, the mascara is okay. I mean, it does lengthen my lashes, but I'd rather use my Hypnos mascara or um, my Clinique high definition lashes. Um, but I really like the lip gloss. I've always liked Benefit lip glosses. I have, I think, three other ones and they're full size, so I knew that I would like that. Um, other than that, it's a really cute box. I think it's a great gift for someone, you know, that likes neutrals. They like very natural makeup. Um, since these are all pretty neutral colors and the blush is very, just a hint of color. And everything blends really easily. So, I think it's something for those girls that like neutral colors. And for... You know, starting out with makeup, because it does come with your necessities. I mean, if they really like neutral colors, they can actually use the deep bronze color, the the darkest eyeshadow, as a liner instead of using um, like eyeliner, like a pencil eyeliner. So they can just use the brown for liner, and it'll look more natural, more neutral. So I recommend it for that. Um, as for the textures, again, I, I like the texture of the shadows. I think it was just the white one that was kind of chalky, but everything else feels real, feels really nice. And, um, yeah, I think it's a great buy. Coupon or not, I think, I want to say it's either 42 or 36. I don't remember. So, yeah, I'll put the price up. But I think it's cute. It's a good product. And if you have any other questions, let me know and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.